Dear friends, this is Anjali Krishnan, Assistant Professor, PG Department of English, Don Bosco College, Khotia. Welcome to my paper, Critical Studies 2 with Module 4, Subaltern Studies. Today, we will talk about life writing. Life writing, it is an open term that expresses the crossing and blurring of the traditional generic borders that of autobiography, biography and fiction, thus inscribing the self in literature in different ways. It is the shaping and construction of life, which necessarily draws on both fact and fiction, thus generating realities and truth. It is also a site of struggle in the representation of life and self and the knowledge that life is narratable. So, through life writing, we are narrating life, so many lives, representing life and self, fact and fiction, truth and realities. Coming to the term, the term life writing suggests the many ways of or the different ways of writing about the subject. It is a new strategy for giving ownership and validation to the individual. Yes, it is a reclamation of agency, particularly, particularly to those who have been marginalized through gender, class, caste, etc. Though it can be an inclusive yana, permitting multiple voices to be heard, thus multiple interpretations are supposed to evolve, giving voice to all kinds of people, all discriminated people. For example, when it comes to feminist life writings, it is a task of consciousness rising to the uninhibited expression of the female point of view and it decodes the female self. It is seen as ideologically appropriate to feminism. A way of telling women's story, of remaking female story, creating a new tradition and mode of interpretation. Thus, life writing can be a narrative of coming to power. Migration and diasporic identity are also central to growing books of second generation migrant life writing. For example, we have Her Father's Daughter by the Australian writer Alice Pung. It demonstrates how the relatively new body of minority life writing is extending our understanding of transnational memory and historicity within the white nation. So why shift to life writings? The shift in the last two decades from autobiography and biographical studies to life writing or life writing studies was notably informed by feminist and post-colonial theory as well as the rise of cultural studies where it gives critical attention to autobiographical subjects previously silenced such as women, people of color, color indigenous people and children. Such life writing theory began from a critique of the human subject, simultaneously universalized and limited as male, European, self-present and autonomous. The life writing of such subjects was seen to be, was seen to deconstruct the supposedly secure limits of selfhood to the previously, previously silenced, marginalized people. Thus, this move has therefore evolved expanding the object of study from mere literary text to life narratives, life writings. As we can see in testimony, digital life writing, graphical memoirs, etc.